so but this is hi you guys welcome 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 the camera's running a little slow today okay <laughs> she trying there we go um yeah welcome to the channel you guys I, I, I sometimes i post videos on both of my channels spiritual justice gem and trusted gem so just remember you can join either channel you can be you know a justice gem or a, <laughs> a trusted gem member it doesn't matter <laughs> what matters is that you like share subscribe and you share the good news and the information because i guarantee you everything that i talk about here is practical and you can use it within your waking world and in your dream world <laughs> that being said you guys let's get into it also give us what we need to know give us plenty of messages anything meant to deceive us cause confusion or illusions remove it remove it remove it and bring in clarity and divine guidance truth and that's this holy spirit thank you so much thank you I see strong-willed. Somebody is strong-willed because, or some people feel like you're strong-willed because you're still, uh, you're standing the test of time and you're being opt very optimistic. So I'm seeing that as well. Could be some of your uh, exes, people, ex-husband, I'm hearing, um, family members, or it just could be, you know, Extended family members, you know, that was married into the family. Any of that good old stuff. It feels me. So, yeah. Let me move my head back. <laughs> yeah. They think you're strong will because their manipulation tactics aren't working as well as they used to. Yeah, seriously, stay optimistic about your destiny because they're definitely trying to control it. Um, this is my, I want sort of like my landlord. So somebody landlord or somebody could be trying to use manipulation tactics and, um, trying to blackmail them into, um, trying to sort of blackmail somebody or, or to call somebody a blackout, something with black. Um, they're definitely trying to control your destiny for either you or your kingdom spouse to have a sneaky link. This is weird. And this is one of your landlord or somebody that has to do with an organization with a home. Okay. Yep, this person get nighttime feelings because they get getting this jealousy. I told you that Jezebel spirit uh, was jumping around a lot. It's not a lot of flashing lights. Okay, that Jezebel spirit was bouncing around a lot and it's jumping from person to person. Yep, they're still doing this weather magic. They still want you to divorce your king of spouse and run off with a sneaky one. Or they want your king of spouse to run off with a um, they may be trying to pull on your ancestors as well to do some sort of magic as well. Yeah, um, they're, they're um, trying to mess with the weather, to mess with somebody's bills. They're trying to make a black... Somebody's doing black magic to somebody's bills and... Yeah, you're doing the most. First, they learn your enemies. They still keep coming out. I think they want either your enemies are learning you, or spirit wants you to learn your enemies because they keep attacking your subconscious mind. Yeah, they keep attacking your subconscious mind. First of all, so learn. Mm. Um, so it's something about a park as well okay that's a, a park park came out here
it's, it's like somebody don't want somebody to go out, go to a park, or go out. Like somebody's trying to make you stay in the house to like mess with your bills. Your enemy is trying to poison you. That keep coming out. They whole objective here. That whoever is over like your landlord, your home association, whatever. If you have a HUD, Section 8, whatever the case may be. I'm not here to judge. But whoever this woman is, she's trying to poison either your subconscious mind or just poison you in your waking world she's trying to learn how to do that and they're doing they like to do these sacrifices to this ekron god that's in, it's in the bible the bible speaks about it or their sacrifice yeah or they sacrifice um how can i put it you know give sacrifices so that they can be able to control the weather because uh, they're trying to keep somebody in their house to run up their bills. That's what I'm saying. So somebody wants you to stay parked. Somebody wants you to stay, like, basically using your house as a prism. Prism? A prism. A prison. <laughs> Maybe they're using some kind of cube magic. You know, I, yeah. This is getting weirder by the moment. I just... <laughs> it's getting weirder by the moment. People are weird. But yes, it's a lot of normal paranormal activity they're sending to your subconscious mind. I've been seeing that. And the way you deal with self with that, you have to clean out your subconscious mind when they're doing that. You can't just wash it off. Yeah, they're trying to make you powerless. They, it could be both literal, like have a blackout in your house and be powerless that you have to be in your house so you can feel like you're powerless. They want you to suffer and they want you to feel like you're not good enough. That's why they want you to be in the house. And that's why they keep doing these uh, one-upping spells, these competition spells and all this. Uh, it's because they want you to feel that their whole objective is to beat down on your uh, solar plexus energy so that they can make you feel less than and powerless. Somebody had you may have a victory with a miracle. It's a miracle that that's done came up about for you. That's not happened. And somebody cast a confusion spell on you as well. There could be a victory with, with that too. They confused you about something. We're going to see in a minute what that confusion spell is about. They won't... I keep getting assurance. Assurance. Okay. We're going to get into that. Yes. Hold on, y'all. So, yeah. That was my kids. One of, one of my other kids yelled. And my other two kids came running because they thought it was me. Like, I need help. I was like, Mom, are you okay? I'm like, I'm fine. That wasn't me. Then my other daughter was like, I'm okay. Don't come in my room. I'm okay. So, I don't know if she wrote off the bed or something, but I think so. <laughs> um, they're doing something for kicks and giggles. I think they confuse you for kicks and giggles. That's all it is. They they confuse you for kicks and giggles. Come on, come on. Yo, hold on. My daughter don't want to be on camera, so let me pause it for a minute. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> but yeah, they they they're and they at night. Okay, they do confusion spells just for kicks and giggles. They do it just to get a rise. And not only do they do that, at night is when they really want to harvest your energy, so just be aware of that as well. Somebody's father-in-law is their enemies and 
um, spirit is saying that this person, there's something about your mouth that may be doing negative energy that works to your mouth. So just be aware of that. Y'all, you see I've been taking care of my teeth really good, like on an extensive level. Y'all, we, that's a whole nother video um, to talk about. I talked about some of it, but the other side, what they want now. Let me just say it. They just want to, you know, they when I went to the dentist, they want to offer like all this stuff for a thousand, like eleven, twelve thousand dollars. And I'm not one to complain, especially if I need something. I'm not, especially if it's healthy, I will pay. But it's just ridiculous. Like you could tell it was spell work that was done to charge me an absurd amount of price, a uh, 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 absurd, an absurd price. And not only that, you could tell that they were going out their way to try to get, like, to say that I need all this stuff done. Could be, but their, their prices was really ridiculous. So I was like, Holy Spirit, give me, <laughs> you know, let me, give me some um, knowledge on what to do for my teeth. And ever since then, they white. <laughs> I've been taking care of them. And I've been feeling great. Um, Good overall health starts in your mouth and your gum mental mouth too just like diabetes and alzheimer's and stuff eating all these sweets and processed stuff which we mostly all guilty of and plus we live in a society especially this this, this digital society where everybody's like oh wendy's is so good oh they got this new stuff and it just make you want to go try stuff that most of the time if you wasn't on social media you would you would just have to pop up and know that there are or see a you know a banner or a flyer but you know they're popping up i'm not saying that you people don't have self-control but it's more of this negative eating habits being shoved down our, us american faces and people are like i don't eat like this all the time i only get on here and what well, can you show us how you eat in real life because <laughs> i'm tired of you trying to promote this unhealthy stuff can you promote the healthy stuff so that can be in our subconscious mind because half of the time we don't even click on these videos you just be scrolling and they boop right there in your face <laughs> you feel me <laughs> yeah <laughs> half of the time people won't watch it and that's the thing people shouldn't be always on social media all the time not to be nobody's you know social media mother or whatever but It is what it is. Like we we spend a lot of time on the internet, and I know I record videos and stuff, but this is to this is spiritual stuff. This is to promote healthiness, and I'm telling you, I'm gonna show y'all my um, products, and you know, on the next in another video, what I use for my mouth, and because I want everybody to be healthy, I don't want you to be out money for your you know for your health or with something that I don't think it should be like an absurd amount of price for, for, for teeth work. You know what I mean? It's, it's just crazy to me. Um, and you can get all your antibiotic needs and everything met through herbal medicine. And I love that. Um, unless you broke your leg or foot or something, yes, you need a doctor. But most of that stuff, like high blood pressure, diabetes, all that stuff can be done like literally through, you know, eating healthy, eating basically normal with <laughs> the word the society we live in we eat in a gross manner we eat when i say gross i don't mean like nasty like uh, you see a lot of you see like i see my my kids <laughs> the skinny ones eat the most the ones that's not so skinny they eat the less and they can eat healthy and they're still gain weight and it's because just who their, their, their genetics just take on that but you know when you go on social media you see all these people big people now just they're not ashamed they're just eating their food and making money just eating their food and it's a double whammy for them because people are actually watching them eat this food and they're getting likes shares not the hate on their likes shares, but i'm just saying they're being rewarded for the disgusting food habits that they have that's why i don't all the time post my food i wouldn't be comfortable because i wouldn't want to attribute it to negative you know, eating habits, because that's one of America's biggest, one of our biggest um, things is that we are the heavier side of things. And people, they always, oh, fitness is fitness. But I saw the video when somebody, this guy was at Planet Fitness, and he said the whole time, well, I think it was, a, yeah, it was a guy. The whole time he was there or she was there, it was a girl. Maybe she was a stud. I don't know. 
but they were promoting Wendy's and stuff like that. Usually when you work out, it's workout videos, you know, water, Gatorade videos, things of that nature. So it's really getting, and, and, and news, I mean, I can see you watching the news if somebody's healthy and they're watching the stock market. I can see that. But other than that, like Wendy's commercial and stuff like that, it's, I think that it's absurd. They, they, they're they going to, I think we should have a law to ban how many commercials can be, uh, I guess, attribute to a device or account or however and how business how businesses how many ads they can promote in a year i really do think it should build women on some things you know i really do i really do think it's a it should be a limit on some of these things because they are it's just getting ridiculous and the more i look into this the the energy it's like they want us to be grossly obese they want us to be grossly perverse they want us to be grossly unbalanced and I, that's the, the, what i've been picking on up on is a lot of extreme energy they want extremeness they want extreme unhealthy people extreme um, um, mentally unstable people they want us in extremities and in a negative kind of in a negative way and then they throw it in our face like you did did you make this decision but you're not helping projecting all this nasty energy onto the collective let's just be honest anywho spirit say um yeah there is victory assurance kits and giggles on the astral plane so if somebody in the astral plane, I don't know if people cheer you on or what, but shine brightly. Yeah, I feel like in the astral plane, even though like they're trying to project and, and pick and laugh at you, I, I I feel like people are actually rooting you on in the astral plane. People are actually rooting you on. And it says, learn your enemies' astral plane shine brightly. I feel like your your enemies are learning that you shine brightly even in the astral plane. They feel like you shine brightly in real life, but it has to happen in spiritual world first in order. And I, I guess they didn't see your light, and now that they, they only see it like when you post or something or you're out and about. But now I feel like they see you in the astral plane, they be like, oh my God, <laughs> she really do, or he really do shine this freaking bright. Can, can I get a visor? <laughs> Can I get a visor? Can you somebody give me a hat? Because she, she shining like the sun. A, a volcano finna erupt in a minute. He shining like the sun. Can, can we can we get some visors? Can we get an umbrella? Some sunscreen? You know? I feel like that's the type of energy you get off. Because she's shining like the sun. I think that was old sister act. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> somebody shining like the sun. <sighs> Hello, yo. Learn your enemies. Knocking. When well, you hear knocking, that's Beelzebub. They're trying to get into your aura, uh, your house, your your temple, your temple sending sending monitoring spirits, your third eye. Uh, gluttony, envy. I was just talking about this extremity, extremity energy, gluttony and envy. That's what they're projecting. I know I was picking up on that. Look, you guys, they got a card right here. <laughs> the God of chaos and death, because that's 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 what it makes sense. The God of chaos and death. It makes sense to send an extremity of gluttony and envy to, to people's third eyes so that what? You can have a lot of sacrifices. So you can have a lot of death and chaos. So people wouldn't know, oh, this is what's going on. Oh, that's what's going on. Because they're sending a lot of chaos to us via Beelzebub. They send a lot of death to, to this world. That's why you see a lot of people dying because that's what they're doing. It's an extremity because uh, Satan is losing. His people are losing. I'm telling you. They are losing. Let's see if we get two more cards on the table so I can wrap this up. Well, we got 18 minutes. Yeah, and this card still wanted to come out. It's a it's a male convert narcissist that's trying to get some kind of assurance in the astral plane to get some kind of kicks and giggles out of uh, harvesting your energy and sending you com confusion spells. They hate that you shine brightly, so that's why they do it. And it's somebody from Capitol Records. I can't make this up. Capitol Records. It's a male convert narcissist from Capitol Records doing something in the astral plane to you. I kid you not. I'm going to get the sun so the other side of this person in a minute. Yeah, they think they're clever. This whoever this person is think they're clever. 
they think they're clever. They, they work at Capitol Records. And they're doing things to the astral plane to get victory assurance and kicks and giggles. This is somebody from, it's a male convert narcissist from Capitol Records. Um, they, they don't like that you're a light, the light and it's a telepathy here. Um, let's see, where's my other day? Here it is. What's the sun zodiac spirit sign of... Spirit, what's the sign of zodiac sign of this male convert narcissist at Capitol Records that's doing something for kicks and gives us an action plan? What's the sign of zodiac sign? It's an Aries Leo Sagittarius. You don't... Yeah. Capitol Records. Um... Well, give us, um, give me clarity on this confusion spell. Yeah, some kind of, some kind of deception. It's a seven of swords. Some kind of deception. Um, that's dishonesty. Um, somebody trying to get away with something, act strategically, tricky, fraud. What's the sun zodiac sign of person? Uh, Casting these confusion spells. What's the sign? What's already at the sign of the person casting these confusion spells? It's a Pisces. It's a Pisces. They work for Capital Record. They are male narcissists. Okay, it's the ex president. That's the confusion. They wanted me to believe it was somebody at Capitol Records, but it's not. This person, this ex-president, is wrapping himself, is cloaking himself into this Pisces male narcissistic... When I got male convert narcissists, I already knew what it was. But this person is wrapping himself up into other people's energy. That's the confusion. For you to be, for me to believe that it's somebody at Capitol Records. No, it's the ex president and his wife that continuously to do something for victory and for kips and giggles in the astral planes. It's them. It's not nobody else, it's them. And they um they're using uh your ancestors to like they're trying to blame it on your ancestors, they're trying to blame it on other people so they can take the blame off themselves but it's this ex-president capricorn sun woman and leo sun man black people melanated people ex-president that's doing all this sex trafficking all this um projecting gluttony and envy onto the masses and you know summoning a god of chaos and death upon the masses to continue to keep this world up in an uproar so so that they can feed these evil deities so that they can continue to live this powerful, rich lifestyle so we can be beneath them because they don't want to live in love and life. A lot of people like this or dark reptilian star seeds and that's why they do what they do they feed off negativity they feed from the root chakra in an imbalanced way and they try to put everybody else in hell uh, for they're mad because people are awakening people are ascending and you know the devil don't want you to ascend the devil don't want you to awaken especially the people that are gaining from your your demise gaining from your dissension gaining from you being in poverty gaining from you being in pain gaining from you being in suffering that was their new strategy to gain from you being in poverty to be in suffering if they couldn't get you to to like leave a job or quit a job or job to fire you or for you to be jobless this is their new strategy for you to suffer so they can feed these deities and nasty energy and then they're projecting all this nastiness onto the masses to feed these deities to feed this, this demon satan the devil beelzebub whatever you want to call these ent entities it's, it's disgusting energy and they're continuously doing these things so that they can get kicks and giggles and just oh this is so funny we're going to answer point and just do this even though if it's them that was living in these 
extraneous situations, they would have a hissy fit. They would probably be able, be able to survive. That's why they have to sell their soul. That's why they turn to the darkness because they are weak. Only weak people that don't act off their heart space does things like this. And that's why the Christ consciousness teach you to act in humility and from your heart space because we're here to love one another. And if you're not loving one another, you'll be an example of being the problem and you will be exposed at this particular time in this particular age. That's just what it is. That's just where the cookie crumble because we even tired. We ain't done, we ain't slow, we ain't unawakened. We are very awakened and we're ready to call on these angels to be Archangel Michael don't mind. He don't mind. She don't mind. <laughs> I'm out, you guys. Peace. I hope y'all see what's going on here. Tap in and see what's really going on. Really.